Alright, so I'm going to have you watch two different videos. This first one is going to be on how to use the library catalog to locate um, a book or any other material. I'm going to show you specifically books, but what I show you in this video will apply to any kind of material that you're looking for. Um, and we're also going to talk about how to use Boolean operators in this video. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you a subject heading search so that you get a sense of how to do both and how they kind of differ. So to start, um, what you want to do is you want to be on the Rasmussen Library homepage. And you want to use this first tab. It'll be the default tab called Quick Search and Databases. And you could just type your keyword search uh, right in here. Or you could go to Advanced Search. Either way is fine. I'm going to start with just this quick search box and type in Global Warming. And so that's a search right now. If we click search, what we're doing is telling the catalog to bring us back any material associated with the keyword global warming. Okay, and so um, there's a couple things to notice right off the bat. We got almost 2 million results, right? 1.9 million. And that's books, videos, ebooks, articles, any kind of material the library owns on global warming. Um, and so we want to narrow that down a bit, but before we do that, make sure up at the top here that you log in. So if you're off campus, you need to log in to the library databases so that you can access everything. So I'll do that quickly here. Okay, so once you're logged in, you can access any of these materials by just clicking on them. So uh, let's play with narrowing down our search a little bit, though, because 1.9 million is probably more than we want, so we'll play with our keywords and Boolean operators and that kind of stuff. So if I go into the search box, right now I'm just doing a keyword search for global warming. If I click on the advanced search link right underneath it, I can add in more keywords. So I'm going to add in climate change in that second search box, and I'm going to search for global warming and climate change. So that's the Boolean operator I'm going to use. If I click search, we can see how it changes. So we went from 1.9 million to 953,000. So that's quite a bit less. And the reason we got so much less is because we narrowed down our search using the AND operator, right? And if you remember, narrows down a search because it requires the catalog to bring back results that have both sets of keywords. So it has to have global warming and climate change. If we wanted to make that search bigger, we could change our operator to or. So now we're telling it to bring back results on global warming or on climate change or on both together. If we click search again, we should see a bigger set of results. Okay, so now we have 7 million. If for some reason you want results on just global warming and nothing on climate change, that's an easy thing to do by just switching to not. And if we click search one last time, we should see a reduced set of results. And we do. All right, so we're back to 988,000. Um, if we were doing this in real life, we would want to narrow this down quite a bit more because that's too large of a result set to go through, but for our purposes, it's okay. The one thing I am going to do is over on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to scroll down and limit by source type. I'll click Show More. And I only want to look at books, so I'll just check off that box that says Books. It'll tell you how many results you're going to get, so just over 9,500. I'll click Update. And there we have it, 9,500 9, results. Um, now, if I want to actually go get a book off the shelf, like a physical book, I'm going to have to scroll through a little bit because the first couple of results are going to be ebooks. But if I scroll down to number four, that's a regular book. So Global Warming, Myth or Reality. The reason I know it's just a regular old book that I can get my hands on is because it has a call number assigned to it. And it tells me where in the library it's located. 